What is going on, people? It is your boy Daddy Mac, and welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi Fi battle. I was debating whether or not I should record this battle against Dylan, who is bringing a Reshiram onto his team. Um, which I am going to do this battle if he dis if he disconnects just like the last video. I'll just do another battle if he it's gonna be a good battle regardless. I mean, he only has one legendary Pokemon. We might even do two battles. I already know who I'm going to start with. Uh, just to explain really quick, I'm going to start Bickavolt because Sticky Web is going to be really crucial on this team. Hopefully that Corviknight isn't a Gigantamax Corviknight, but other than that, we should be okay. Now, really quick, if you guys didn't watch last, last uh, battle, which happened on Monday, be sure, and we have the same pose, mine's still a lot better. If you guys haven't checked out the last battle we had on Monday, be sure you guys check it out. Really, really good battle. Uh, I'm not going to say anything. We'll just leave it at that. Make sure you leave a like on that battle so I know you guys watched it. And also for this battle, make sure you guys drop a like also. That way I know you guys are enjoying these Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. Comment on who the MVP of this battle is going to be. Most valuable Pokemon. And subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. Now, Dylan starts with Inteleon. I'm not 100% afraid of it. He's probably going to switch. I'm going to stick web. Switching, kind of. I mean, he's U-turning. He's, he's doing some pivot damage. Goes back to Dylan, which is completely okay. The sticky webs are pretty crucial in this battle because the Reshiram is... Is not fast fast but it's really it's it's fast it's fast that's I'm just gonna leave it at that it's pretty fast now Inteleon is a pretty fast Pokemon uh, what was another Pokemon that was fast on his team um, let me sign my fast yeah so those are the three Pokemon I'm most worried about now I'm gonna stay in on the Rotom and I'm just gonna click bug buzz trick that's fine so I, I think I can only use sticky web yeah, I can only use stick. I'll take the choice specs. I will take the this is gonna knock it's not gonna knock out because you have the choice uh not the choice uh the focus sash. Okay. Special defense drop. Might have mattered. Um there's not much that this thing can do to me, can it? So what I am going to do is just reveal well obviously uh I only can do bug buzz. That's fine then. Um yeah, I'll just hit him with the bug buzz. I mean, he can Bolt Switch, Dark Pulse, not pro probably will knock me out. Yeah, it's not knocking me out. Bug Buzz gonna knock this thing out. Now, Bickable is kind of valuable to me now that I have the Sticky Webs up, and I actually have Choice Spec, so my opponent made a little bit of a mistake as far as that goes. So, who are you going to go for next, Dylan? We might have a second battle. I I'm, feel I'm feeling pretty good about a second battle today. Feeling pretty good. Tyranitar comes out. Not fearing the bug buzz. I mean, I, I'm specs. I kind of want to do it, but I'm not 100% convinced. I'm max speed, so I should have speed. It's super effective. It's, I mean, that gives him a plus one in special defense. So we'll see about this. I'm regretting it. I don't regret it. That's a knockout. Big Bolt. Two knockouts. That's up the sticky web. Big Bolt. Pretty good. It's a really good Pokemon. I would highly recommend that you guys use them. Or her, depending on what your Vickable is. Or your Charge Bug. Um, or your Grubbin. Alright, Inteleon comes out. Inteleon's a frail Pokemon. He's probably going to U-turn. What I'm going to do is take the opportunity to switch. And I'm going to go into Vileplume. I know Inteleon has Ice Beam. It has access to Ice Beam, but I really don't think... My opponent is gonna hit me with an ice beam right now. Probably gonna U-turn. Water Pledge. Why are you running Water Pledge? That does some damage. Not gonna lie, that does some damage. Buffed by the sandstorm. Both of us are buffed. Now, are you running? Are you specs? Probably not. I don't think you're specs. What I'm gonna do is just hit you with the gear drain. That might knock you out. U-turn. Okay. I should have expected that. Pretty bulky. We're really bulky, not pretty bulky. We're really bulky. Gonna drink water, fill myself out. No, I was gonna click sleep powder. 
But I second guessed myself, and I think I should have done that. I should have kick, uh, clicked uh, Sleep Powder, because this isn't going to do anything. My question to you, Reshiram. Are you going to Dynamax? We both take some 10 damage. Which is okay. Mine's get, mine gets offset. Now... I am honestly afraid of this uh, Reshiram. I don't know what I want to do here. I have two weaknesses. I almost had three weaknesses. Fire, but Duraludon is neutral against it. I do have the Assault Vest with, Dural with uh, Duraludon. I don't think it's worth going into him, though. I think it's kind of worth letting Vileplume go down, though. I, I kind of want to do that, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to try to Sleep Powder. Hopefully this guy... Uh, okay, Fire Blast. It hits. That's a knockout. I can't believe that hit. And in the sandstorm. Okay. Loses some HP, telling me that it's Life Orb. Take some damage, that's fine. So what I'm gonna do here is go into Clefable. Should I go? So who does he have in the back? He has the. I think we can go Clefable. We can try to do a, a stored power Clefable again. A uh, little bit of a setup going. So I'm gonna go Cosmic Power here. He has four Pokemon Clefable. You need to get a sweep. You were cheated out of a sweep. Oh, you're, I'm faster than you. I'm faster than you? Question mark. Fire Blast again. I hope it hits. Of course it hits. Does some damage. I'm not going to lie. That does some damage. I'm not afraid of it, though, because I outspeed it. So I'm, I'm not really worried about being knocked out because he outspeeds me next turn. I'm simply going to go ahead and go Moonlight if he does some damage to me. Hopefully he switches out. Cosmic power. I'm at a plus two and two. What are you gonna do? Why don't you try to hit me with a Draco or something? Loses some more HP. Leftovers comes into play. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a little bit greedy here and go for a plus three plus three, right? That's I would be at a plus three in both stats. Yeah, I think that's definitely worth it. I'm going to go Cosmic Power one more time, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit the Moonlight. Moonlight, so bright. Okay. Earth Power, that's that's going to do less, buddy. That's going to do, that's going to do less. So we're kind of stalling the rest of them out. My opponent should really consider Dynamaxing that thing. What I'm going to do now is go for the Moonlight. The Moonlight, so bright. So bright that the I don't even, I shouldn't even try. All right, withdraws restaurant. That's perfectly fine. I understand why. Now, I'm not a hundred percent afraid of the Corviknight because we have the flamethrower waiting for it, baby. All right, so we're gonna go for a moonlight here. I mean, the worst thing Corviknight can go for is bulk up iron defense. Uh, probably Iron Head. Probably running. I I run Brave Bird on mine. I, I ran Brave Bird on my is what I should have said. I don't really like Shiny Corviknight because it looks like it has a beard. I don't really like how it looks like with a, with a beard like that. Alright, so I'm gonna go Flamethrower. Showing you that I got Flamethrower, buddy. That's gonna... That's gonna hurt. Burn? 10% burn? No. Iron Head is right, boys. That's not gonna do anything to me. But Fable, you are so thick, girl. You're so thick. It's not even funny. So I'm gonna go ahead and go Flamethrower again. Is this a DC? How did I know that? I I predicted that before this battle even started. So let's do another battle. I finally found an opponent here. It took me so long to find an opponent. I had to cycle through like four people. One of which brought three Pokemon to a battle. Another one who ended communication and another one who ended a communication and I think another one who ended communication. But we finally found somebody. Annan is bringing a straight up rain team. Am I scared of it? Not a lot. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is start Bickable because he's probably gonna start Pelipper. If he starts Seismitoad, I'm gonna make Seismitoad cry with an energy ball. So let's see what Annan is gonna start with. I got a feeling, I got a pretty good feeling it's gonna be the Pelipper. And the reason I wanna set up, uh, the reason I wanna start Bickable it's because I can straight up, I don't know what, what's going on in here, but 
Anyways, I can straight up click the sticky web. Okay, so he's gonna go Seismitoad. Again, not afraid of the Seismitoad. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going... Should I... Do I want to click Energy Ball? I kind of do. I, I really do. I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna do it. That's it. Earth Power. I'm Levitate. Why would... Did he misclick? That happened to me the other day. Alright, Energy Ball. You're gonna... You're gonna... Weaken the damage I'm gonna do to you. Just almost go down. Special defense goes down. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Okay, so I'm gonna go with Sticky Web. That should have been that one hit KO. Sludge Bomb, that's fine. Go ahead. I'm gonna take that and I get poisoned. I guess it's only fair. I mean, I get you with the hacks, you get me with the hacks. That's perfectly fine. I'm gonna Sticky Web here. Put my remote and my controller down. So I can just chill hands free. All I gotta do is just reach over here and click the. And I'm gonna go for it. Did I set up the sticky web? I think I did. Yeah, I set up the sticky web. Okay, that's what I wanted. I'm gonna go energy ball next. He's probably gonna outspeed me, obviously. Why do you keep going Earth Power? I'm not gonna switch out. He probably is predicting for me to switch out, is the thing. But I, I have no reason to switch out. I'm gonna hit you with another energy ball. Going down. Should have, should have done something else. Should have done something else because that's gonna cost you the battle. Shouldn't play so aggressive at first unless you get you know for sure or have a really strong gut feeling that your opponent's gonna switch out. That's Pokemon tip of the day. So the last battle got DC'd because my, my Clefairy just makes all my opponents rage. I, I don't know what the case is with Clefairy. Uh, Clefable, not Clefairy. I always do this for Clefable. All right. Ludicolo is coming out, gets stuck in the sticky web, so I'm not afraid of this thing. Bug Buzz is going to be close to knocking out. I should outspeed it. I should outspeed this thing. Yeah, Bug Buzz, Ludicolo. It's not going to take you down, but it's pretty close. I want to go Ice Beam. I go down the fine. I kind of needed Pickable, but I don't think it was absolutely necessary. I don't think it was a crucial Pokemon to save. I, don't, I was going to think about going to Cronomp, but I'm obviously not going to do that. Let's see. I want to save Duraludon for the Barrowthorn for G-Max, uh, for Max Darkness. <laughs> Should we try to get a Clefable Sweep going again? I think I'm going to try it. My opponent's probably going to cancel the battle when she switches into Barrowthorn, and I click Flamethrower. Alright, Clefable, let's go Cosmic Power here. We should outspeed this Ludicolo. Ludicolo, don't scare me. Not, I, none of his Pokemon really scare me, to be honest. Ice Beam, you outspeed me, actually. That does some damage. Cosmic Power. We got a plus one, plus one right now. I want to try to get at least a plus three, plus three. Hopefully plus four, plus four. We're trying to get eight. Either six or eight or, or four. We'll go Cosmic Power again. Ludicolo, you better switch. You, you need a energy ball trying to get my special defense to go down. That's a crit. What's wrong with these critical hits against Clefable, man? <laughs> That's two times already. That's twice. Okay. What I'm going to do is go Moonlight. I have to go Moonlight. I absolutely have to go Moonlight here. If I value Clefa uh, Clefable so much, I'm gonna, I have to go Moonlight. All right. Energy ball. That probably won't knock me out. Or just knock me out. Another crit! Wow! That's back-to-back -back crits. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's gonna be one of those battles again. That's what I get for trying to set up. So I'm gonna go Passimi in here. Um, I think I'm gonna click U-turn. I'm gonna go U-turn. And you're pro- I don't know who you're gonna go to next, but I'm gonna click U-turn. Knock this thing out. You're probably gonna go Ferrothorn. If you go Ferrothorn, I don't really have an answer for Ferrothorn. Unless I Dynamax or Gigantamax. All right, so switch out. He gets switch. Uh, I get switch priority because I pivoted. I should have. I, I. I don't know if I should have completely done that, but I'm gonna go Vile Plume. If Ferrothorn comes in, that's fine. If Ferrothorn comes in, that's perfectly fine. Um, can't really do much to Vile Plume, so I don't know why he would go Ferrothorn. Anyways, well, let's see. Who are you gonna go to? Helifer. That, that's reasonable. I respect that. Respect the Pelipper. So what I am going to do is click Sleep Powder. I'm going to click Sleep Powder right now. 
Helifer is going to outspeed me. You can hit me with the hurricane. That's fine. Or just almost knock me out. Ah, and I get confused. All the hacks happen to me. All the hacks. Confused. Alright, don't hit yourself. Alright. So now Pelipper's asleep. And what I want to do is go to Crawdon. I want to try to set up two Dragon Dance. Two Dragon Dance. Because the Ferrothorn's going to come in soon. And essentially, it's going to take a superpower to the face. I want to make sure I'm at a plus two so I can get one, one, uh, one defense drop instead of two. So you're going to withdraw Pelipper. Are you going Ferrothorn right now? You are going Ferrothorn right now. That's a, that's a smart play. I think he might have read me. Sticky web. All right, so Vile Plume returns. Here comes the Crawdon. I need to, I need to get the hell out of here. I, I need to get out of here. Okay, so I'm going to go Duraludon. I have to go do Raladon. And I think it's time for a Dynamax. Power Whip. You miss. Max Darkness. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, it does something to this uh, Ferrothorn. I mean, I'm not afraid of Barrascuda because I got the Water type move going for it. Gonna go Barrascuda? Yeah. I can't believe Barrascuda has a, a mustache. I, I noticed that the other day and it kind of bugs me. I don't like the little mustache that's going. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna Dynamax here. I, in all reality, I shouldn't have gone for the Dynamax. I should have predicted some kind of switch. I don't know what it is that you're fearing though. I don't really have anything you should be afraid of. If I'm being honest. Beautiful Duraludon cry. I love Duraludon's Cry, to be honest. All right, Max Darkness. Gonna do heavy damage. It's gonna knock it out. Duraludon just uh, doesn't care. Air Squid is really frail. I learned that pretty. I, I learned that pretty, uh, pretty hard when we did a Toxicity Team Builder. What are you gonna do next? To Dynamax. So you have the Pelipper, the Feral Thorn. And are those your only two mods left? Are you going to DC? What's going to happen on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z? Ferrothorn. I like that. I like that's exactly what I wanted to happen. Because, hear me out. So you do have three Pokemon. Who's your third? Raichu. Because, I'm going to go Max Darkness here. Max Darkness is going to lower this thing's special defense by one. And we should be able to knock it out the next turn. Are you going to go max guard? You're probably going to go max guard. I've never seen a giant Ferrothorn before, so I'm kind of excited. Giant Ferrothorn. Imagine seeing a giant Ferrothorn in real life, out in the streets, just kind of walking, minding its own business. The mountains, actually. Max Darkness. Going to lower this thing's special defense by one... That's a bulky Ferrothorn. What are you gonna want to do to me? Max Overgrowth. I'm I'm resistant to that times four. Not gonna do anything. My health is gonna go up, and so is yours. But what I'm mostly, what I care about the most, is honestly getting the special defense drop. So I got one more, one more, one more chance to do something to this. And instead of going for the depletion, I'm going to go Max Darkness because I really need to try to unbulk this thing. We'll, we'll do that. So I'm going to go Max Darkness again. Try to make this thing... Max, that's smart. You're a smart boy. You look like you know what you're doing. So I get my health, my health up. You get your health, your health back up. Take some more water. The Raladon is tiny again, facing up against a giant Ferrothorn. Um, Dark Pulse is the move, right? I, I I can't necessarily go with Flash Cannon or anything like that, so obviously, Flinch, a uh, Gigantamax Pokemon, or Dynamax Pokemon can't flinch. And you increase your defense. That's a little scary to me. That's a lot of damage! Scary. It's a crit. Why am I getting crit so much? I, I'm getting critted. That's two times in a row. Three times with this one. Wow. 
the cheese it's are real. All right, you're gonna go tiny again. I'm gonna go tiny again. That's fine. Um, we'll go for another dark pulse. I'm gonna try to play stubborn with your Elgon. It flinched. That makes up for the um, the crits that we had or that we got. Because we didn't have crits. We got critted. I'll go for another Dark Pulse. This should knock it out. I think it'll knock out. It knocks out. There you go. Caliper's asleep. I'm just going to click Thunderbolt. Raichu comes in. I'm just going to click... Uh, I don't I don't want to click... Uh, I don't want to click Draco, but I think I want to. Uh, I think I want to. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. This is a good battle. Thinking a lot. I'm using a lot of my brain juices. Got that flow in. Drizzle. The righteous probably running thunder. And that's fine. I'm gonna go Thunderbolt here. I haven't revealed the Thunderbolt, and now is the perfect time. Because Pelipper's going down, and this means Raichu is going to go down to a Draco. Oh, you're holding a sash? Is that what it is? You are holding a sash. Okay. Just, I have Stalwart, I don't care. I'm gonna click Thunderbolt. You can switch out if you have Lightning Rod. You don't. Pelipper goes down. Bye bye, Pelipper. Bye bye, Pelipper. Pelip, Pelip, Pelipper. All right, last Pokemon is the Raichu, and I think we got this W. We got a W. The last Pokemon out in the sticky web. Okay. We're gonna go Draco. Duraludon, do not miss. Do not miss. Faint. Why would he go faint? He probably don't have anything that damages me. Draco Meteor, this is gonna knock you out, little boy. No, little girl, you're a little girl. There you go, and that's a W. Beautiful victory that we had with Duraludon. Beautiful victory. We got critted. What, three times? And we still managed to win, unlike a video we had before. I'm not going to spoil it. Now, I don't want the really card. It wasn't a memorable battle, but it was a good battle. I'll give you that. And then, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like if you guys enjoyed this battle. Make sure you comment down below and let me know who the MVP, most valuable Pokemon, of this battle was in the comment section down below. Last but not least... Subscribe to my channel for weekly Pokemon battles and weekly Pokemon content. You're not going to want to miss any of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.